오. 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 How you doing, everybody? It's Greg Hudson here with another edition of ABR. As you can see, we're right here in the outer banks of North Carolina, Kill Devil Hills, as a matter of fact, where the stallions roam free on the beaches just a mile that way. And you can get some of the freshest food in town from a restaurant that's been around for 40 years. So come on in. Let's go to the Jolly Roger. I feel like I'm on an actual pirate ship right now, like down in the galley or something. Andrea! Hey, good morning! Good to see you! You too! How are you? I'm fantastic. And, and Wonderful. You walk into this place and you are transported to another world. Yes, you are. You know, yes, you pull you up, are. we're near the beach, but I do, like I, I just said this, I feel like I'm in like a modern day fun pirate ship somewhere, like cruising the ocean. People say that when they walk in there, they walk in the door and they're like, whoa. Yeah, you know that's how I mean? it feels. Yeah, the kids especially, they're like, because exactly all the colors and all feels. the decorations and yeah. My goodness, yeah. what a unique space, man. It's you, very much. You guys are doing much. it here. We are, we wow. are. This is great. Okay, I, I, I can't not address this right now. I'm glad you have okay. something ready, but what's going on here? This is our Jolly Delight. Hence the Jolly Roger. Okay. Anyway, it is a grit cake, and then we top it with one of our made from scratch crab cakes. Oh. And then we drizzle it and load it with some Gouda bacon cream sauce. I'm when, sorry, I don't hear very well. I thought you said Gouda bacon cream sauce? I did. I did. Get out. You of see here. all that stuff right there? And then we just garnish it with a little bit of parsley. Well, it looks beautiful. That's the thing. Absolutely. And I'm going to be really honest with everybody here. Uh, when I knew we were coming to Kill Devil Hills, I knew we were coming to the coast, I was hoping for some seafood. I was hoping for some crab. And I love that you guys are making this in-house. Yes. Now, is that yes. kind of the theme here, too? That, I mean, you you know, are you guys, when it comes to the food, because you come and you see the decor, and it's a fun experience. It is. But what about the food? Are you guys doing a lot from scratch? Or, or, we or what are you do doing? everything from scratch, from baking our own bread to making our own sauces. We make the meat sauce, the marinara sauce, the tomato basil, the bolognese, all from scratch. Re and, and you're it, making your own bread in and house? And we're making our own bread. You guys are serious yes. about this. And so yes. what I love about that is it's a fun atmosphere, but it's not just that. Like, it sounds like we're gonna get some really great scratch food today. You are, you are. Oh, this, this, Dig I, in. I almost, like, I feel bad digging into this because it looks so good. It looks like <laughs> a piece of, I'm sorry. Jolly, what's it called again? Jolly Delight. Jolly Delight. I apologize, but it has to be done. It does have to be done. Oh, See look at that? that sauce just goo. Are you getting this? This gooey sauce just going over the edge. Oh my goodness. This is just fun. I haven't even taken a bite yet. This no, is fun. It is fun. Mm. Oh, that crab cake. Yeah. <laughs> Man, and you know what else I love about this? Is that Gouda bacon cream sauce is delicious, but it doesn't overpower the crab cake. It doesn't. It you does still not. get it all that crab flavor. It does, yeah. Complements it. it. You know what? That's the perfect word, Andrea. It complements it. Because with the sauce that, that gooey and rich, it could overpower. It could very well. But the way that you guys are balancing this dish, look at this bottle. I know, look, right? You know what? Look at this. You can see how, look at the crab just hanging off of this. That's how much crab you guys are using in this. That's another yes. thing I was going to say. There are instances, and I get it, where there's a lot of like bread and filler in the crab cake. Yeah. You guys are keeping it pretty much like 90% crab here. Yes. This is, yes, this there's is the not a lot of filler in there. Strings of crab <laughs> hanging from a crab. Some of the cake. cheese. Yeah, that's some of the cheese and some that's of the bacon. It's good. It's yummy. It's yummy. <laughs> That is decadent, man. <laughs> right. That is a dish if I've ever seen one. I love it. And the thing the thing I like about our crab cakes, I'm from Maryland. Are you? Yes, I am. From the Eastern Shore where it's crab country. So you know what you're talking about. I know what I'm talking about. And when I tell you that our crab cakes are very much like Maryland's, I'm not lying. Well, I'm not lying. I agree in the fact that, I mean, that, 
I don't even know if there's any breading in there. It's just for filler. No, just, it's just, just, to, just bind to, it. to bind it together. It's not. Exactly. I mean, it's mostly crap. Exactly. So okay, so you guys, are, you guys are the real deal here. We're the real it's deal. It's not just We're, fun and hanging out. It's y'all got some good food going. We do on have now, some Andrea. good food. We really do. We really do. Well, what else can we expect today? I'd love to meet Chef if he's doing all this from scratch. We, I can take you in the back right now. We can talk to Danny, and he will show you what he's got going on back there. Everybody's. We have. Very many prep people back there, obviously, because if you we everything make everything fresh, from, you got to. I mean, you have from to. the strawberry shortcake to the brownies. I mean, everything. Yeah, the bread, the strawberry shortcake, the brownies, the key lime pie. I mean, that's that's just part of it. That that's not even. You're into your desserts, it sounds like, huh? They're very good. Got to mention. <laughs> got to mention them. That's fair. Got, I mean, you're starting with an appetizer, got to oh, end with a gosh, dessert. But yep. yes, yes. I'll tell you what. Some finish good this stuff. bite. Let's go back. Finish and that chef. bite. Yes, indeed. Let's go. So this is Chef Danny, the guy responsible for that house-made crab cake that we just tried, man. Correct. And as I was saying before, there's not a lot of filler. That's a lot of crab in that crab cake. Oh, definitely. Like, you not. guys are doing it here, and you're the guy behind it. That's correct. So what are we doing now? It looks like we've got some we're more gonna, seafood. We're going to do a go, yeah. uh, seafood chiapino, which we offer on Saturdays. It's kind of the lobster mania theme, so that's what we offer. And now normally chiapino, when you think of that, you think of like a seafood stew almost. Pretty much that's you what it is. You yours a little bit different. You had some linguine yeah. in there. Yep, we have a little bit of uh, everything. Mussels, clams, shrimp, scallop. Oh, we're freezer. building this from scratch. That's what you're going to get. Let's go. All right, chef, get to it, brother. Uh, so heat in the pan. That's after battle. Everybody wants to come in here and do it cold, putting everything in, and there's nothing going on. Here, you want that heat, gotcha. fire, go. Man, and you've got some really fresh looking seafood here. Those clams look incredible. Yep. You got some mussels, we got some shrimp. Those scallops look gorgeous too, brother. Yep, George's Bank scallops. Beautiful. Is that a little clarified butter we got going in there, Chef? Clarified butter, correct. Man, I like the way you guys do things here. I really do. Sneak in here, grab a yes, little sir. bit of everything we do is with a salt, pepper, garlic mixture. Salt, pepper. Oh, you got a whole pan of this all here. All done. All the pasta. Can I see this really quick? Right Look at this. They got their own seasoning mixture right here. And chef, you use this on a lot of your dishes. You said? Yes, we do. Man. Oh, that smells great. Sorry. There we go. It's all good. I get a little excited sometimes. That's all good. I'm gonna slide behind you. Yes, sir. Scallop being the biggest. Boom. You know, and, and that's the thing too, guys, you gotta realize, when you're making a dish like this, you seafood can be overcooked so quickly. So the timing of the seafood is very important. The it chef's is. putting the scallops in first, they're gonna take the longest to cook. Yep. So, and then he'll slowly build and add the other seafood that need less time to cook. Otherwise, you could get A, rubbery scallops if they're in there too long, or underdone scallops and shrimp if, if they're not in there soon enough. So scallops and shrimp going in first, because they take the longest to cook. A little white wine there, Chef? A little white wine slows down the browning of the garlic. Oh, and you can you can smell that, I can man. smell the essence of that. It's almost like a Blanc. You got the butter, the white wine, the garlic all in there. Mussels and clams. This is beautiful. Now, Chef, do you, you do all these from scratch anytime anybody orders the Chipino? You name it, we do it from scratch. This is a breakfast station during breakfast. I flip it to a dinner station at night and everything becomes pasta related. Oh, so you rotate this entire station. Oh, look at that. That's what you love to see. Now I'll put my salt pepper. That little seasoning mixture you got there? Yep. And Chef, you've been uh, you've been at the Jolly Roger now for, for a little bit. You left and came yeah. back, right? Like, I'm in my seventh year this tour. This I did tour, five, he said. I, I did five before that. Goodness. And, and so what I love about that, man, is a guy like you that's been here that long, you're maintaining the integrity of that menu, making everything from scratch. I yep. mean, I'm telling you, they're marinara sauces that we saw. You guys are baking your own bread in house too, right? Baking your own bread in house, all the sauces from scratch, Alfredo's, marinara's, tomato basil, uh, bolo, which is bolognese sauce, all of it all done from scratch. A little corn in there. It's probably going to yep. add just a nice little hint of sweetness to it. Yeah. And what kind of stuff. sausage are we using in there, Chef? This here is a uh, chorizo. Oh, love that. Yep. Seafood and chorizo, man, they go hand in hand. I'm telling you, they complement each other. Here's so a little well. bite, but a little gives bit of spice you added to that seafood. So, now I'm going to hit with a little more wine. And we're going to put this over pasta? 
and I'm gonna put some marinara in it. Oh yeah, because you want a little bit of that tomato for the chiapino flavor. Right. Oh, I can smell that garlic and wine, chef. This is just gorgeous. And I want you to think about this again. This is coming from scratch every time it's ordered. So this happens every time this gets ordered, man. That's correct. Linguini pasta is what it goes over. Oh, I can't wait to try this. Okay, so we got the pasta in. Chiapino is just about done. After this, yeah. time to taste. That's nuts. 79. Crazy. Ready to kick back up here. Okay, Chef is plating right now. Gosh, that smells incredible. Put a little parsley around the outsides and the Goodness. Here. That is steaming. Now that is a dish. <clears throat> and a little fresh shaved Parmesan cheese. Oh, I didn't lot. see that coming. Chiapino. Are at you its finest. Me? Look at this. That is gorgeous, Chef. Tell me we got some forks nearby, brother. There we go. No, oh, thank you, sir. I'm actually gonna spread this out, let that cheese get in there and maybe even melt a little bit too. And this is a special you said, right? Yeah. Gosh. We do a lobster mac and cheese in addition to this one on Saturday nights. Oh, mac and cheese too? Yeah, with lobster. What, I'm sorry, lobster mac and cheese too? Correct. These guys are doing it, man. I'm, I'm gonna try to get a bite here, but it looks pretty hot. I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. Um, this just smells incredible. And can I tell you, I personally, I've never cooked with white wine added to marinara. I've usually, I've, I've had red wine. Most marinara, people think that. But this. But the white light, the white goes with the seafood, which brings out the flavor of seafood. There you go, that's where it's at. Mm-hmm. Chef, you know what? Everything you just said makes sense because what's happening is that white wine is giving some brightness. Yeah. And that adds to that seafood flavor. The that red, you want. the red, the red is more heavy when you're doing exactly like we do a stick pizziola or we do anything with. Then yeah, the red yeah. sauce can. You know what? I think if you didn't have that white wine, a red sauce could overpower the seafood. It, it would. But that white wine brightens everything. It brings up. out the color. It just brings out everything. It really does. Yeah. It really. So, folks, hey, we all learned something today. You can actually use red. Or you can use white wine in a red sauce, especially with seafood. It makes sense. No. Man, chef, you're doing it, bro. Well, Chardonnay, keep it simple. You know, Pinot Grigio is more That's sweeter. It. Yeah. So, you know, and Napa Valley vine Chardonnay. Chardonnay. It's too dry. That's what so you this want. one hits it. That's great, chef. Uh, so I'm gonna, man, this is great. And you guys, uh, you're doing a lot more than just seafood and dinner dishes too. Did I hear you guys do breakfast? We do breakfast. We have a uh, pancake lasagna, which is featured. I'm sorry, pancake lasagna? Yep. Built just like you do a regular lasagna, except you get scrambled eggs, sausage, and bacon as your ingredient. <laughs> and that was named Joey's <laughs> pancake lasagna for the uh, owner's husband. Oh, those scallops. Those yep. scallops are great, Chef. Dry pack scallops, so, all the way to go. Yeah, I gotta meet this Carol Ann lady. She sounds like she is just a card. She, she sounds is. like a pretty awesome woman, man. She does anything and everything for anybody. I'd love to hear that. Well, Chef, man, you knocked this out the park. Thank you for the time, brother. No problem. Uh, I guess now we're gonna go get a breakfast pancake lasagna? Yep. We'll see what it's all about together, because I have no clue. Welcome back. This is Miss Carol Ann. <laughs> we've hey, been darling. waiting to meet you. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. We've heard all about you. And of course, sitting in this 
regal chair of yours as well. You're, is this a fantastic you're, chair? I, you look like a boss in Game of Thrones right now, <laughs> Carol Ann. That's what it's looking like. But uh, but you are the mastermind behind this place. I guess I am. Been here for 40 years. 40 years? 40 years. Man. And you guys just continue to expand, right? We you did. got a lot going on. I we saw did. up front some renderings, I guess, you're going to add even more to this we're building. add a bar and get the bar out of the building. So it'll be right beside this building. And how big is that going to be? It's going to be two layers. It's going to be the main floor, which is going to be, I think, like uh, 6,000 some square feet. Whoa! And then you're going to have a mezzanine upstairs where we'll have the darts and pool tables. And That's you're going to have great. a deck that will connect with the deck we have upstairs now. Man, you just don't stop. It's fun. It is a lot of fun. And you, you know what else is fun is your food. We've just had a blast today meeting Chef, yeah. trying those crab cakes. And then I, I heard we're going to be trying some breakfast, and I sit down, and this just looks just out of this world. What are these two dishes for breakfast? Okay, so this is your trash plate, which is a little bit of everything. <laughs> trash plate, okay. It's a good thing for the night, the morning after the night before. Yeah, because you guys like to get after it out here and kill Devil Hills <laughs> right, for everything I'm, right. I'm hearing about. I was talking to Andrea earlier. She says it gets a little weird out here at night. You guys like to party. Is well, that she true? knows she's here all the time. I used to be here all the time. Now she's she's little Carol Ann. She's here all the time. <laughs> Wonderful. And it's okay, so this is the trash plate you this said? This is the trash plate. It's got a little bit of everything. Home fries, bacon, sausage, cheese, eggs, potatoes, everything. This is definitely the morning after, isn't it? Right. And you, you want to add either this hot sauce, which is the Tabasco, or the other. I, yeah, I heard you mention something about the green Tabasco with this. Right. I, and I like spice. Give it a try. Give it a try. On. I like some spice. Whoa, Greg. You, oh, who's he there? Okay. Uh, in this? No, I would have half the ball on there, but that's okay. <laughs> you you like it that spicy? I love spice. Is that your secret? The no, red glasses no, and the spice? Not everybody does. No. I mean, that's your secret's I a life. It so everybody likes it and they can add to. Is there gravy on here, Carolyn? Mm -hmm. A little bit of everything. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is a lot. Oh, that's rich. Woo! Good. It's yeah. That's okay. the morning after meal right there. <laughs> that's exactly. That's gonna soak everything up for you. That is a Kill Devil Hills breakfast if I've ever seen. Yes, one. it is. Yes, it is. I mean, and you, delicious. People must love this. They do. They do. They uh, love most of our food because most of it's from scratch. And that's what we noticed yeah. too. You are doing everything from scratch, man. Yes. I'd imagine the fishermen come in, man, and load up on this after a, an early morning of fishing. It, it does serve to get them out there. Oh, this will get them out there. <laughs> That'll get them out there. Oh, they've got a bathroom on that boat. <laughs> but man. Okay, and <laughs> what is going on here, okay. This Caroline? is my husband's creation, Joseph. This is a pancake called lasagna. We call it Joe's Pancake Lasagna. Pancake lasagna. Mm -hmm. This is a You're first gonna for try? me. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why I'm this. I'm not going to Why? Well, eat it, but maybe I will. You never can tell. So okay. what's what's the history of this place? That's what I'm tasting. Well, first of all, hold on. Syrup on this? Syrup on that, yes. Okay. Just over the top. Let it mm -hmm. run down. Just let it run down. Whoa, there we go. All right. So tell me the history of this place. Okay. I mean, 40 years, you've seen a few things out here. We have. We've seen a lot of changes. This was Dean's Gas Station and Grocery Store. Okay. So the blue room, which is right there, was where they lived. Hmm. The red room, which is on the other side, yeah. is where the gas station was. The gas pumps were out front. The original building is just the way it is now. Okay. In other words, the porch is the same. The windows in the red dining room, 30, 1936. Those same windows. Those same A lot of history here. Mm -hmm. Goodness. They've never been changed. It's and amazing. so when you came in, you said you've been here 40 years. You come in 40 years ago. Was it still the gas station? Had it changed no, to a no. restaurant by then? It changed to a restaurant in 1972. Okay. Okay? It was open, the, when I bought it, it was open dinner only, season only. Oh, because it's a big tourist area right. out here, right? right. Okay, right. understood. So back then, we opened it up breakfast, lunch, dinner. They said we'd never make it. But well, we did. Here we are. It's a wonderful thing. And not only, not only did they make it, they're expanding with what ten thousand square feet next door, <laughs> and it's because of dishes like this. Oh my gosh! I'm, I didn't get like a knife to cut through this. It's take a bite. Oh my goodness! This is oh, where this, your, is, this is your husband's uh, dish. Uh huh. Pancake. Joey's pancake lasagna. He sounds like call. a quite a guy if he's coming up with stuff like this. Pancake lasagna. Oh, that's got everything in it too. I got a nice bite there. Mm -hmm. 
Harold Ann, that works. Okay. That works. And we have a lot of items that are different. It's uh, like the bourbon bread bread pudding with the hot bourbon, bourbon bread sauce. pudding. Yes. That looks great too. And this, we make that. This is man. I, you know what? I love that maple syrup on there because you get the sweet with the savory That's of the right. bacon in the you egg. have a little bit of salt. Oh, yeah. The this sweet this is... Together. Your husband's living in the future. Does he know that? <laughs> He's living in like 2067 right now. Because that is... Well, he'd that's love incredible. to hear you say that. Well, he would love, you, love sir, it that you like it. You, sir, are living in the future with this one. This is... That's a winner. Okay. You, you twisted my arm, so I guess we're going to have to go bourbon bread pudding okay. here. Go ahead. Are you guys making uh, desserts in house too? Here? Yes. You guys doing all that stuff, and that's the thing too. Is all this is scratch made. Just such inventive ideas you have. Like this, like this is everything you'd ever want right. from breakfast, but the kitchen sink. Well, the only thing you don't have is your homemade bread. What's your? Oh my gosh! We, yeah, serve, yeah, it with, we serve it with bread. Your homemade bread mm -hmm. here is second to none. Well, you've tried that. So. Second to none. So, what's the vision for the place, Carol Ann? You're expanding. What What do you hope to see in the next few years at Jolly Roger? Just more customers that love us, more food that's good. It's a family restaurant. The lady came in and said that we were going to re re change up the whole place. <laughs> we were going to change up the whole place. All right. And she was having a fit. And we were talking in the ladies' room because she didn't want us to change the red room. <laughs> so you don't, you just keep adding on. You don't change, you just make it better. I like that. That goes theory. back to, as I said, consistency with the food. You know, and I think you know that makes a lot of sense too, because a place like this has such nostalgia to it, and I feel like there are probably people that, if you've had it for forty years, that come in here and it feels like home to them. That's like they, they haven't been here yeah. in years. They come right. back to the coast and they come yeah. in, and you want it to be just as they remember in their mind's eye right. when they when they were That's coming right. up. So I love that theory. And you know what? Now you're going to add on next door and give some people maybe a new modern take on some things. So you well, have it's to be crazy. <laughs> well, I have no doubt. Just like this interior here, it's going to be different. Based on everything I've seen and all the people <laughs> I've met, I, I have no doubt about that. But you're giving some people something new and different. That's going to help create new memories oh, yes. for people. Oh, yes. But you can still come in and enjoy this side of the right. Jolly Roger. Mm -hmm. Man, I, I just, I like, I like the way you think, well, Carolyn. I love the way you think. Well, you've got so much history here. I mean, I told you about the windows. Yeah. Do you know where you're sitting here? Where I'm sitting right now? Mm -hmm. I'm sitting in, in your Right, it's called the throne. throne room. Oh, it's the throne room? Oh, yeah. And why is it called the throne room? Well, because look at you. No. This used what? to be the ladies' room. This was the men's room. <laughs> That's why it's the throne room? That's why we call it the throne room. <laughs> there, now that does make sense. This was the end of the building. Okay. That was the end of the building there. This was only three rooms when I took it over. So you've expanded all of this? Right. This the is because the place is massive added. now. Right. Sunroom was added, bar was added, stage was added, new kitchen was added. Wow. You're a visionary so. then. Because that, that's a lot. And now you're building next door. You are a true visionary. So um, I just I hope people in the community in Kill Devil Hills realize what a special gem that they have here and what they have in you in particular. Well, I love them and they love me. And we're a big Clearly. community restaurant. We take care of anybody that we can. Anybody that needs anything, we'll be more than happy to help. Any fun, SPCA. The community you stuff. Know. You're big yes. in the community. See, mm -hmm. I love hearing that too. But well, it doesn't shock me one bit. When we were little, okay, and people used to park out front, people would say, I don't know whether to come in or not to come in. Because out front were the EMTs, the exterminators, the fire department, the police department. All eating here? All eating here. They didn't know if there was an emergency so they, or what? Well, they didn't know whether to come <laughs> in or not come in, whether there was a problem or not a problem, but that's the way it looked. Man. Well, I'm glad to hear that, that you're so involved. And now I understand why you've got this big expansion coming. And it's, it sounds like it's really well-deserved, and it sounds like this community is going to get a lot out of it. So. I think they're going to enjoy it. Well, thank you for your time, Carolyn. I really okay. appreciate thank it. Thank you very much, darling. Thank you. Man, kill Devil Hills, who knew? And with a lady like Carol Ann and her vision and scratch made food, and then you think about that expansion and these views, man, Jolly Roger is definitely one of America's best restaurants.